Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que ça va bien. Alors, Good day, everybody. I hope things are going fine for you. I'd like to thank you for your presentations at our conservative uh, convention here, Congrès en French. Mm. Because it's an opportunity for me to practice my English. <laughs> Moi aussi, my, my français. It's a rainy morning in Vancouver, but we've had a fantastic convention, and um, very excited about the final plenary session today, our election of uh, of uh, national councillors, and we're here to answer any questions you have about the convention so far. Up. Well, certainly our members are very worried about the uh, economic track record of the Trudeau government in six months, you know, breaking the promise on the $10 billion, uh, no more than a $10 billion deficit, uh, eliminating the chance of balancing their budget within four years, uh, raising taxes, particularly on small business. Conservatives, we have a lot of small business owners that are members of our party, very concerned about the direction of the Trudeau government there. So we'll take that back. We're also taking back learnings that we've had from, from the election. We had some learnings on a riding level, on a national level. I think that's good. That's healthy for the party. So we'll take that back, and it'll also form part of the leadership race. I think the candidates that will be running in that have been listening to delegates, forming their policy. So a lot, lot to bring back to Ottawa. Absolutely. And uh, I would well, also say on a note that's really more closely related to the event, it's an event here when we realize that members are quite motivated. I can tell you, I uh, attended the initial uh, convention of the party in, 19, uh, in 2005, and we see a new enthusiasm, a spirit of renewal, and the importance of the work that we represent. We're a big family here. And I think that uh, your presence allows us in this uh, convention to say, well, yes, the Conservatives are often seen as uh, people who work uh, hard and are uh, uh, serious and maybe a little bit uh, uh, boring, but we can have fun and we can have very animated debates. I spoke to some of you, and we, uh, we ha are having very intense debates. It's like in a family. Uh, we might be doing a little clothes washing uh, amongst ourselves. Uh, we have stronger positions, however, because they're debated amongst uh, many people. Uh, throughout the day, we'll see this uh, uh, breath of renewal uh, appear on the part of activists, but also last night on potential candidates. The fact that the Prime Minister, who still has 51 percent support in the surface, are you not committing the same mistake as during the election time train? In other words, to uh, treat him too lightly. You're quite right. It is important always to never underestimate the adversary. But, Madam Glominski, what is also clear from our discussions with the activists throughout the country is the conservative values and principles that come out. And I'd say to you that the people here are applying the, my mother's grovers, whoever pays their debts gets rich. People are concerned with the direction of the current government with regard to the management of public affairs. Again, this morning, uh, an activist uh, party member from British Columbia said, in order to protect our social programs, uh, our social uh, network is to it requires us to manage responsibly. And right now, it's just uh, the exact opposite of that that we're seeing. Something that uh, is one of our big strengths, we conservatives, is to prepare uh, for another uh, government different. Yes, the current government uh, is popular, but uh, we're heading, as Aaron just mentioned, uh, in a, we're in a period of euphoria uh, with the expenses left, right, and center, and uh, that's not sustainable, we can sort of believe. Um, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to show not just how uh, our party's uh, evolving and learning with right. these things. Canadians have. You know, if you look at when these things were in the courts a decade ago and then in Parliament. Um, Canadians were a bit mixed. I think a lot of people are much more comfortable with the concept now, including a lot of our members. There were a number of us that were comfortable years ago, but um, I think this is a good opportunity where we don't squelch debate. Uh, unlike the convention in Winnipeg that's uh, closing doors and, and fighting, mm -hmm. we're tackling tough issues, whether it's mm -hmm. euthanasia, same-sex marriage, and doing it quite respectfully. We're having passionate Absolutely. debate, and then at yeah. the end of the day, we're, we're having a beer together. And I think if you're, if you're looking at what the debate is here and how it's evolved in the last 10 years, it's just a reflection of Canada. But the debate was quite passionate yesterday in the, in the breakout.
breakout session on, on the definition of marriage, amongst other things. Are you worried that, that, that this shift that perhaps Canada has taken and most of you have taken might alienate or, or, or make certain, a certain part of your party very uncomfortable? No, you know, our party is a reflection of Canada. We have people from here from every province and territory, and, you know, we expect there to be a debate and a passionate debate. Nobody got out of their seats and pulled someone or elbowed or anything, so it didn't get too too passionate. Uh, we have had a respectful discussion. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, the definition or the issue with respect to marriage will come to the floor today. I personally think... Uh, it, it will pass, removing uh, the exclusion, but, uh, you know, it will come for a, de uh, a debate and vote. And I think that's what politics should be. We shouldn't hide from tough issues mm -hmm. here or in Parliament. But I guess it's the question, question is, some, is there a political cost to pay for the party? Do the, does the party pay a, a, a price in the support of social conservatives? Mais si, vous, si vous me permettez, j'aimerais répondre aussi à la question sur la définition If you uh, allow me to, I'd like to answer the question about the traditional concept of marriage. We took a vote in 2006 on this issue. At the time, I voted for maintaining the traditional definition of marriage. And yesterday, I voted that we withdraw that from our party platform. I went and saw one of the uh, uh, members who expressed himself at the mic and stated his concerns, and I said, your point of view is important, and one of our conservative values is that our moral choices we respect individual choices. Now, there again, that's something that... Uh, distinguish us from other political parties. Our party is inclusive, and for me, it means that uh, when people have opinions, for example, on the def traditional definition of marriage, they have their place completely within our party, just like those who want to open up the doors to a wider definition. And to, for me, that's the message that that resolution will uh, send out by withdrawing that element from our platinum. So while yet allowing people who have principles that we're all of us respect that we're opening up the door to a new way of looking at things. So this is what comes out of this convention in my mind. We're a big tent party. You know, some of you might have been at the big tent party last night. Right, but are uh, you going to kick people out of that tent by this? Absolutely tent? not. What, what mm -hmm. we have is a debate here from across the country and all Canadians, unlike the Liberals, where every member that wants to run for them has to have the same view on issues as Justin Trudeau, how, how is that free? How is that respectful of, of uh, gender, of geography, of all the issues that make up uh, our parliament? So we have a good debate here on the floor, but we will, as a party, move forward on the resolution. I think we will uh, come along with respect to that, much like a lot of Canadians have. But I've been, I've been really, really impressed with how respectful the views have been um, even on all sides, even on those issues, on euthanasia yep. and a whole range of things. So but we're going to move I guess forward. my question is, Mr. Harper took the stage yesterday and, and really made a, a case for you guys to stay uh, united. Ms. Ambrose. Thursday. Was saying, Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you were at the Big Ten last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I mean, is there, not, not to, is there a risk not to kick people out? But, but maybe for these people to want to leave, it, it, are you worried in the context of the leadership race, of this review of your policies, that that some people might just want to be apart from you guys? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to lose those uh, we're a big ten. I don't think we're going to lose anyone. You know, I don't think a Canadian expects to get 100% of their views in their political party. We're a brokerage party. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the one area where we we are weak now is, is Atlantic Canada, and that's why we've been talking about that specifically in some of the breakouts. But, you know, no one expects to have all of their positions reflected in a party. It's about making sure your voice is heard that you're allowed to express your views on a range of issues and to bring your background, uh, I think that's that's been here. We've had some difficult discussions. We've had some frustrations with the campaign, but that's how we become stronger as a party. So I don't anticipate anyone leaving, Catherine. I do expect a passionate vote here, uh, and I think our modernization on certain issues is a reflection of Canada's changing values and views. Uh, political party is like uh, the menu. You have a main choice and entree and uh, dessert and you look at the things you like and some elements you like a little bit less so for people well, once again I'm against the death penalty but I know that in the Conservative Party we respect my position because we give the choice to people who express their opinions today all members here can express themselves freely on the various topics and it's the consensus uh, that becomes the uh, party's policy on the various issues. They're always welcome, and they have an important role to play. They deserve to be heard, not at all 
On the contrary, I believe it is an opportunity to show respect for all points of view, and this is one of the basic principles of dem democracy. Madam Douglas, we oftentimes people, uh, when they don't think the same as me, we might uh, uh, not respect them, but it's important to respect them. Uh, this is the major lesson that we can uh, uh, take from the events that are happening today in the debate and plenary. You know, if people have that concern, that, you know, I'm concerned by that myself. You know, we are a big mm -hmm. tent, and in fact, in many ways, in the last 10 to 15 years, the Conservative caucus has been the most diverse caucus in Parliament. We've got to reach out to that community in particular to make sure that some of the decisions that have come down from courts and, you know, the way Parliament addressed it, if, if, if people felt excluded, that's an area we have to work on, definitely. And the good thing about it is people were comfortable enough raising it, even when they were frustrated. Uh, that is helping us learn, and it's helping us heal after, you know, people were upset during the election. So we haven't hidden these things. You, you were in those rooms. We're using this as an opportunity for people to, to wade in uh, with frustrations, with some things they thought we did well. That's how we will improve, and that's how we will show Canadians. We heard the message from October of last year, and we want to win in the next general election so that Canada doesn't slide into the economic ditch that we're already headed for. Thanks. Alors, Thank you, everyone. Bonne journée. Stay dry. Merci. <laughs>